girls are always down to role play. <laughs> until I hand them a lightsaber and tell them that they're Anakin Skywalker and I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi and they are battling on Mustafar. Then suddenly they don't want to anymore. Curious. Anakin, I have the high ground. I just wanted to make out. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's up, my beardless and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're diving in r slash ace. <laughs> a very, very fun subreddit. We haven't gone into it in a little while. I've actually really been looking forward to coming back to this one because so many of you have been bugging me to. <laughs> I actually have some ace friends that have been reaching out asking me to cover this again. So why not? Let's dive on in. All right, you know what you're in for. Let's get started. I say, you know what you're in for, but even I don't know what I'm in for. What the heck? Why, why would I say that? <laughs> mm, good flirts. I'm enjoying getting to know you and don't want it to stop. Better flirts. I'm trying so hard not to kiss you right now. Me flirting. Did you know that according to NASA, 1993's Jurassic Park is the seventh most scientifically accurate film ever made? Mm. <laughs> Honestly, that last one would probably win my heart. I like fun facts. I would take fun facts every day, day after day, over people trying to smooch me. Especially these days. Get away from me! Keep like a 12 foot distance. Tell me fun facts from that distance though. I want to learn things. <laughs> also, when was this tweet made? Because <laughs> was this before everyone was like, ooh, but dinosaurs had feathers. Well, do you know what the dinosaurs were made with? Frogs, okay? And how many feathers do frogs have? Oh, wait. <laughs> the other day, I invited a guy over to have adult fun time, and he was like, I can't. I'm, I'm eating cheesecake. And I was like, well, what about after? And he was like, I'm going to be full for eating my cheesecake. <laughs> These are the right priorities to have. <laughs> cheesecake first. Strenuous exercise later. <laughs> I just went to Hooters. <laughs> and there aren't even any gosh darn owls there. I'm never going back. <laughs> Have you ever been to an avian sanctuary? Would recommend. It's pretty cool. You can like hold eagles. You can pet birds. You can meet a bunch of them that you can never touch because they'll eat your hand off. There's just... <laughs> I understand the confusion. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Why do people always assume that dreams about people are adult fun time related? Like I say, I dreamt about you last night. And everyone's all, Ooh. and stuff. Like, you were the cashier when I went to buy some yogurt, okay, Shalissa? <laughs> it's exactly the, okay, all right. <laughs> remember a while ago when I had a dream about my friend Midnight Palma? Do you remember that? And I was like, oh, I had a dream about Midnight Palma and everyone was like, Ooh. but like, honestly, <laughs> I just dreamed that we were roommates, okay, and that I left, but I forgot my jacket, so I went back home to get my jacket, but the coat rack for the jacket was in the bedroom, and I went to the bedroom, and Palma's in our bed, because we have a gigantic bed. Why have multiple beds if you're in, like, a tiny apartment with one big bedroom? Okay, anyways, and he was in bed with a giraffe, and, like, <laughs> and they were just hanging out and making jokes. There was nothing... There was nothing salacious about that. <laughs> we were just roommates. <laughs> so I asked my boyfriend to talk dirty to me in Bulgarian during adult fun time. <laughs> it was incredibly hot. Until I recognized the word tomato and asked him what he was saying. He then admitted he was explaining how to make a salad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't know. <laughs> I mean, that... <laughs> you know what? Okay, I've, <laughs> I've done a Google Translate search for how it will appear in Bulgarian, so let's give it a listen. Take the lettuce oh, no! and break the leaves and pour on the oh, mixture no, they don't have other the, vegetables it won't read it out in Bulgarian. quite tasty and good, but I wanna, and then add a tomato on the top But I wanted to learn how it sounded Bulgarian. Aw, oh, come on. Aw, oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> what is your sexual orientation? Heterosexual. Gay woman. Gay man. Bisexual. Danish. Or opt out. Hmm. <laughs> That's amazing. Can you opt out of having an orientation? But Danish? Like Danish or Danish? <laughs> What's a queen without her king? Well, historically better. <laughs> What's Juliet without her Romeo? Oh! 
mom alive? <laughs> True. Although I, my own issues with the end of that play aside, that's just just a weird story for people to hold up to be like, ah, yes, romance. <laughs> yes, I've done it. Nothing feels better than winning Monopoly. Not love. Not adult fun time. Not free pizza. Nothing. I'm sorry, have you tried pizza? Yes. And it doesn't compare to owning half the board and watching the light die from your friend's eyes as you take their money and feel your friendship slowly deteriorate. <laughs> Uh, there's an old comedian from quite a while ago who's a little bit weird, but there was one joke that I really connected with, and that was, you just don't play Monopoly with Grandma. <laughs> Grandmas will mess you up when you play board games. Okay, I've got Park Place. It's 3 a.m., Grandma. You win. I'm going to bed. Being asexual mostly consists of making adult fun time jokes. Innovating Denmark. And garlic bread! <laughs> this is really true. Out of my group of friends, the naughtiest of individuals are the aces. I don't know why! <laughs> you have the wildest jokes. <laughs> also, how's that invasion plan going? Because I saw on your list, remember last time we covered this? I saw on your list that you're going to invade Canada. What the hey? I live here? What are you doing? <laughs> you ever been tied to a bed? <laughs> Only by my depression. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that hits too real, please. Oh, some of these are too relatable, I think. <laughs> when watching murder documentaries, horror, movies with gore, and violence. Mmm, casual entertainment. Yes, just a Taco Tuesday, as it were. Haha, <laughs> that's how that phrase is used, isn't it? Oh, Film Friday. Why didn't I just say Film Friday? That's actually way better. <laughs> Movie Monday. Okay, all right. I could have done. I could have done literally everything. Why did I do that? All right. <laughs> when an adult fun time scene comes on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's true though. <laughs> Gosh, especially like when growing up and your parents are like, oh yeah, no, I mean bad guys get shot. I guess that's what happens to bad guys. Oh yeah, the the good guy catches the gal. Oh that's fine. And wait, what are they doing? Oh no! All these explosions were fine, but not those types of explosions. <laughs> Did you know being a part of the LGBTQ was a big sin according on the Bible? <laughs> Me, looking for the Bible verse that says not experiencing adult fun time attraction is a sin. <laughs> it does preach a lot of acceptance and being kind to one another, as well as like having some really weird off the wall stuff. So it's wild that some people would try to take like some of that off the wall stuff and being like, this, this is what we should focus on. Because listen, <laughs> there's a lot of lessons that can be found in the Bible and which ones you choose to follow, I think says a lot about yourself, not about the people you're preaching at. <laughs> Someone else. I hate it when men brag about their body count. Me, wondering why someone would brag about modernators. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I'm just baffled that there are people out there who hate asexuals. They're literally doing nothing. They're literally doing no one. <laughs> what you're not doing is an abomination. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the post itself is funny. What I want us all to focus on just for a moment is that it was said by the giraffe police force. <laughs> oh, I'd watch that a hundred times. Six seasons in a movie, please. <laughs> giraffe police force. <laughs> did you know? Okay. Did you know they changed the title of Zootopia? I'm not weird, right? Do we all remember that it used to be called Zootopia? Right? What happened? <laughs> my closet itself, when I'm watching Bojack Horseman with my parents and they ask me if I know what an asexual is. <gasps> I've never heard of that man, whom I am not. <laughs> There's so many wholesome posts from people about Todd from Bojack Horseman. It's really sweet. I love that folks saw that as representation of not just someone being silly, but someone being relatable and silly. My favorite Bible story is when instead of telling women to dress modestly, Jesus tells his dudes to avoid lust by plucking their eyes out. <laughs> My man, Jesus. <laughs> what story is that? Matthew 18, 9. All right. Hang on. And if your eyes cause you to sin, gouge it. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> Milf. Man, I love frogs. <laughs> Dilf. Damn, I love frogs. <laughs> Mommy, I want a puppy. No. <laughs> Sean, give me a grandchild. Ha <laughs> ha. Mother, you have fallen into my trap. No. <gasps> <laughs> I found the holy grail of asexuality. Alrighty, guys. 
When it comes to the perfect garlic bread, it's all about doing the simple things well. Ah. Begin with two bowls of garlic, top with olive oil, season with salt and pepper, and roast in the oven oh. for an hour. An hour! Then finely chop parsley, <laughs> take out a bowl, add butter, and squeeze in both bulbs of oh. garlic. Then add your parsley, top with parmesan, it came out season with black pepper, and no. mix well. Then we're going to take a that whole bloomer, so tasty. remove the top, and spread on our oh. garlic butter. <laughs> oh my liberal. god, I need this. Top with parmesan, More parmesan. then into the oven, oh. 15 minutes. Take out a knife, cut into strips. Oh, I can't. Give it a good squeeze. This is gorgeous. And there you have the perfect garlic bread. I am so hungry. Why would I do this to myself? <laughs> my friend. Oh my God. I had a dream where I married my crush last night. <gasps> oh. My dreams. Arrgh. We must save the child before the next blood moon. I get it. It's a land shark. <laughs> Can you imagine a cow just like rolling at you, trying to eat you? <laughs> Wait, this is a manatee. This exists. You know what manatees are? This is a manatee. I don't know why I thought cow shark. Manatee. On land. A land manatee. A wise quote from a wholesome... That's me! <laughs> Good meme. Too much butt. OT 2021. <laughs> it did. It had too much butt. I can't. It had way too much butt. Have you seen that scene? It's just an entire butt statue. It is a statue of a butt. It is so prominent. <laughs> Random Nordic countries going about their business. <laughs> Someone's not going to like that accent. <laughs> Aces and our alphabet mafia allies plotting an invasion! Ah! Is that still ongoing? Is this still hap- Are the invasions still happening? Have they already happened? <laughs> You'll like girls when you're older and other hilarious jokes you can tell yourself. <laughs> This actually really reminds me of uh, of a really old comic. I think we had it in a video maybe in 2019. Yeah, it's this one. Well, maybe it's normal and natural for a boy of his age. Later on, he'll get to enjoy girls. It's not normal and natural for this boy to enjoy girls. Mom, not now, not ever. <laughs> Chuck, it's such an icon. <laughs> Asexuals are. Asexuals are coming for the Iron Throne. <laughs> oh my goodness. Asexuals are queer. Asexuals are not straight. Asexuals are invading Denmark. Asexuals are magical. <laughs> These are amazing top Google search results. That's phenomenal. I wonder what happened. What if I Googled myself? Hmm. <laughs> An adventure for another time. <laughs> we chose the term asexual to describe ourselves because both celibate and antisexual have connotations we wish to avoid. The first implies that we have sacrificed sexuality for some higher good. The second, that sexuality is degrading or somehow inherently bad. Asexual as we use it does not mean without sex, but relating sexuality to no one. This does not, of course, exclude cell fun time, but implies that if one has adult fun time feelings, that they do not require another other person for their expression. Asexuality is simply self-contained sexuality. The Asexual Manifesto, Lisa Orlando and Barbara Getz, 1972. Wow! Note the date, people. That's 1972. 29 years before Avon started online. And 47 years before the present. And that's only the date the manifesto was written. So asexuals as members of a community must have existed at least sometime before that. So no, we are not just Tumblr trenders. Get out of here with that. Supporting my asexual friends and foes by reblogging this. The Asexual Manifesto. Dang. <laughs> to my ace arrow friends and smalls, if you're ever feeling undervalued, remember Hestia. You know, Hestia, the Greek goddess of the hearth and home. Simultaneously, the oldest and youngest of the Olympian gods, Hestia turned down marriage proposals from both Poseidon and Apollo, two of the arguably most desirable gods in Hellenic pantheon. Instead, she asked her brother Zeus, king of the heavens, for permission to never marry and never have to take a lover or anything, which he granted without question. Zeus, lord of sleeping around, did not question his ace sister when she said that's who she was. That is some divine allyship, yo. She went on to be the goddess of the hearth. For ancient Greece, the hearth was the center of the home and the center of worship for family. In ritual practice, Hestia always received the first, best, and the last part of any sacrifice. Put that in context of patriarchal societies where the father of the group always received the best part of a meal, but not Hestia. No, your friendly hometown goddess was venerated before the king of the heavens, without question or anything. Hestia was the 
center of the family, the center and grounding point of the home, and was treated as such. The lesson for aces here is that you are worthy of being yourself. Without question, you are a valuable member of your community, a most valuable member of your family. And if you are not treated like it, maybe take after Hestia and burn those mother to the ground. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. <laughs> I love learning bits of history. It's cool to see how many people are reflected in history when you actually pay attention. I read this next one quite a while ago, but it was one of the things that helped me better understand the ace community, so I wanted to bring it back up again. Being asexual is like being born without a sense of smell, but everywhere you go, people are spraying perfume in your face, and when you ask them to stop because it's irritating, they get huffy and respond with, Don't lie to me! I can clearly see that you have a nose! Everyone has a nose! And so everyone can smell things, and besides, you just haven't found the right scent yet! And then you want to scream! <laughs> Oh, it's such a good explanation, honestly. <laughs> My beardos and weirdos, thank you again for poking me and telling me I should cover this subreddit. <laughs> I had a lot of fun going back through it. It's really fun to see what all of you are up to, especially how the invasion's going and, and how we're all definitely in, in support of that, right? <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. My grandmother's calling me. <laughs> All right, my beardos, we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro! Do you have money for me? <sighs> no, I, we decided to put you in a room over this. No, I don't want to be put in a room. Well, we're going to take you to one, and you're not going to be allowed to leave. Am I going to be paid? No, we will, because we'll be doing our jobs. So you're just taking my idea. Yeah, we're taking your idea. It's ours, but we're going to do that now. Well, I got to say, I don't like this turn of events at all. Well, <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. This guy wants to say something. Love you, bye. <laughs> Listen, we've been through a lot together and I've developed a psychological bond with you. I want to be friends or more. Ugh. All right, I'm going to turn myself in.